I'm gonna show you three breakfasts under 300 calories that I've been eating to get my leanest body ever. I'm gonna be making peanut butter and banana egg white oatmeal, PB and J, French toast roll ups, and Greek egg cups. We're gonna get started with the peanut butter and banana egg white oatmeal, and this is what you're gonna need. Cue me. Okay, we need half a cup of quick oats, and I'm using the great value kind, a teaspoon of low calorie sweetener, I've got the Splenda, we need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a third cup of almond milk, I'm using the Kirkland unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a third cup of egg whites, half a sliced banana, a medium size, a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter mixed with water. I'm using the PB and Me uh, until it's like, you know, peanut butter texture. And then I also, for the topping, did a teaspoon of the PB2 or the PB and Me, but I made it runny so that I can drizzle it over top when it's done. And you also need a microwave safe bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the oatmeal, the egg whites, and the almond milk. And I know what you're thinking. Ew, egg whites and oatmeal? Well, I love putting egg whites and oatmeal because it is so, it adds so much protein to help you stay full, but you can't taste it. So I put everything in there except for the PB2. I'm gonna do that after it's cooked. Um, I'm gonna stir this really well, and then I'm gonna microwave it. Okay, so this looks good. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. Then I'm gonna stir and repeat until the eggs, until the oatmeal is fluffy and all the liquids absorbed. Okay, so that took one minute and 45 seconds. And now I'm gonna transfer it to another bowl, just because this bowl is hot. Um, it'll be easier to eat in a cool bowl. So there we go, got it all cuted up in there. I'm gonna stir in my peanut butter. Stir it in. And now I'm gonna top it with my sliced banana. Yes. And then we're gonna take a little piece resistance and do a little drizzly bear. A little sweet little drizzly bear of peanut butter. Calories for this are 292 cals, four grams of fat, 49 grams of carbs, and 19 grams of protein. And I will do a taste test, but we gotta do thumbnail action first. All right, let's taste it up. A little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of everything, sweetie. Mm. Nothing beats the combo peanut butter and banana. The friends, I am the leanest I've ever been with the most muscle I've ever had. And I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years. And these breakfasts are one of the most important reasons why I've been able to get those results. One, they're tasty and filling, which helps me look forward to what I'm doing and fuels my day. And they're low calorie, so they help me stay in a calorie deficit to meet my goals. But just eating breakfast helps me set my day up for success because if I skip it, I'm so hungry by the end of the day, it makes me way more likely to overeat and go off track. Having lovely breakfast like this, protein in it helps you stay full, they're super tasty, you look forward to what you're doing, and that goes booyah! Then you just, I'll catch you at the next breakfast. I'm all charged up. We're making Greek egg cups next. All right, I got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna make six egg cups, two servings of three muffins each. So I have six, uh, what do you call these? Six tinny things in a 12 count muffin pan sprayed really well with cooking spray. And then we need two large eggs in my bowl, half a cup of skim milk or whatever. I'm using 0% Fair Life because it has more protein. Half a cup of egg whites. I'm using the Kirkland. We need 60 grams of light feta cheese. I'm using the Saputo feta. I find it has less calories than some of the other light fetas. A teaspoon, sorry, half a teaspoon of salt, 
a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, quarter cup of tomato diced, quarter cup of diced red onion, and four tablespoons of sliced black olives, and I'm using the canned version here. So we're gonna pour the milk, eggs are already in the bowl, the egg whites, and the salt and the pepper. And I'm gonna whisk this together until well combined. Now I'm just gonna pour all the ingredients in, the feta, and then the onion, the olives. Give it a little stir, mix it up. And then I'm going to divide this in between the muffin cups. So I'm gonna just go about three quarters full for now and then I'll divide the remaining up. Uh-oh, this one's leaking a little. <laughs> oh, we got a leaker, leaker alert, leaker alert. Okay, come on buddy, stop leaking. You know, that'll be a mini one. <laughs> A tester. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in for about 10 minutes, then I'm gonna check on them. Um, they should take anywhere from 15 to 20. We're going basically until they're completely cooked all the way through and like a, a toothpick pulls clean on them. So like I said, I have my leanest body ever right now with the most muscle I've ever had. If you wanna know exactly how I get lean, you can check out my Leaner Not Meaner ebook. The link is down below. You get my four week meal plan, my weight training and my cardio plan. It's great value because it's basically like spending a month with this one, with Coolest. And- If you can handle a whole month. Oh. <laughs> you can! <laughs> and code Nicole will save you 10% off, so even better value. I also got the hoodle, baby! This is HTLT Seps. I am sponsored by this company, but they literally have the best protein powder with the best flavors. S'mores is so good, and it really helps with my s'mores craving, because I would eat s'mores all the time if I could. Code Nicole will save you 10% off that too, cutie! <laughs> All right, just plating these up. Oh, those look cute. Whoa. Oh, beautiful, wow. Those took, ended up taking 30 minutes at 350 degrees and then the toothpick pulled clean. Oh my gosh, they're looking cute. One serving is three egg muffins. So there's one serving and then another serving for another day. And per serving, so for three egg muffins, it's 248 calories, 14 grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. So I'm going to save one set for breakfast, but I'm gonna taste this one right now because I can't wait. And I'm gonna do half so that my cute sassy can have a bite too. Oh. Look at that. Nice. That's got some tomatoes and everything. I love Greek food, so these are exciting. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I taste everything. The olives, the feta, like, oh my gosh. I bet you too, like as they cool, they'll be even better like the next day and stuff. I'll catch ya in a flash because we're doing the PB&J French toast roll up, cutie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> PB&J French toast roll ups. This is what you're gonna need, cutie Rooney. Half a cup of egg whites. I already have it in the bowl. Two slices of bread. I'm using the Artisano Villaggio. It's two slices, 150 cals for reference. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of low calorie sweetener, a tablespoon of low cal jam divided into half a tablespoon each. I'm using the Dora strawberry. It's 25 cals for one tablespoon and a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter that I have mixed with just a little over one tablespoon of water to make it spreadable consistency, and I'll be dividing that between the two slices of bread. Then for the toppings, we need 
some low cal syrup. I'm going to use two tablespoons of the Steve's Maples. A pinch of sugar free powdered sugar. I'm using the Truvia icing sugar. And two sliced strawberries. You can use fresh or frozen. I used frozen and I thawed them overnight in a container. And then a teaspoon of the powdered peanut butter that I've made drizzly. I used almost two teaspoons of water because I want to drizzle it over top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by rolling out my bread. You can flatten it if you want with like your hand, but I got this baseball bat size rolling pin that I'm going to do it with. So I'm just going to roll this out as flat as I can and then I'll do the other one. There she is. Nice and sweet and cute. One and two. Feel like you should think roll and roll and roll. And, you know, that's fitting. Okay. Put that aside. Then what we're going to do, divide the peanut butter, put it just down here. The thicker peanut butter. Yeah, the thicker peanut butter. Just divide it, you know, doesn't have to be perfect. And then just run it down the, the middle. And then we're gonna take the jam and put that down. Like so. And then we're gonna roll them up. like that. I'm just gonna put one off to the side here and then stay there, cutie. And then I'm just gonna roll this one up. Beautiful. And we'll just leave those babies over here so that we can prep the egg whites. So I'm just gonna put the sweetener and the cinnamon in and I'm gonna whisk it until it's really well combined. And then I'm gonna soak the bread, the roll ups in this while I preheat the pan. Okay, so it's all whisked up. I have a pan sprayed really well with cooking spray and I'm preheating it on medium. And now I'm just gonna place these in and I'm gonna soak them, flip them around until they're, you know, really well soaked and most of the liquid has been absorbed. And then when the pan's ready, I will cook these guys up. Beautiful. Sweet nuggets. Okay, the pan is preheated. I'm gonna carefully transfer these to the pan and I'm going to cook them three to five minutes until they're golden on one side and then I'm gonna flip them and do the same to the other side. Then I'll show you how to top it. I'm gonna go show you guys a cute trick how to get the side because you wanna get that side all golden. I just take the spatula and I lift it up and I just crisp it up like that. That's my cute trick. And then I do the same to this side here. All right, cuties, look how beautiful these look. Whoa. They are ready, crisped up, golden, and sweet. Wow. Now, let's top it. Okay. I'm going to take my drizzle of the peanut butter and drizzle it over the top like that. And then I'm gonna take the strawberries and just put them on. Put some straws, make it sweet, make it sweet, make it sweet. And then, let's see, should we put some powdered peanut butter now or picture it, sweetheart? Powdered sugar, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take the spoon, just a little bit, and then just do a little fasusa like that. That's what a fasusa is. Beautiful. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> I love making cute things. All right, cuties, let's put some syrup on here. And I'm gonna start with one. Yeah, one is good. You can do up to two. And now let's give it a taste test. Oh yeah, look at it. See all the beautiful in there? <gasps> All the cute, get your straw. Oh. Mm. That is PB and J heaven. Mm. Oh, the friends. You're gonna love all these. You gotta make them all. So, 
for this breakfast with all the toppings and everything. 295 cals, two grams of fat, 45 grams of carbs, and 23 grams of protein. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid and that it showed you that even if you only have a little bit of cows to play with, you can make a variety of tasty low cal breakfasts. Dieting shouldn't be boring. They have lots of protein in them so you stay full. They're tasty so you look forward to what you're doing. Weight loss should never feel like a punishment. This is why I've been able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for so long because I love what I'm eating. I set myself up for success by eating breakfast and stuff like this that's gonna fuel my day and keep me motivated. I love you, don't forget, check this bit, this bit for more sustainable weight loss tips. Real people in the real world losing weight and loving it, loving it and loving life. I love you, catch you in the next bit. Thanks for watching, peace out, kill ta -runi. Now, so they're gonna hit a home run. Whoa. She's out in the outfield, hit it, catch it guys. I'm not a baseball player. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Bye, cuties. <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.